Hello world, Becca here with another CSS tutorial for today. This one I am super excited about because I think it's a really fun effect. As soon as I saw this on someone's website, I was like, what? That's amazing. How do you do it? And I figured it out. So I want to share the code with you. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is create a super cool underline effect for your buttons. Now I want to start off this video by saying this code is a pretty big one. It's kind of complicated. There are really only two or three things you could change in it to update it for your own website. And because of that, I did put it beneath the video, but there's a much better explanation on my blog at insidethesquare.co. So link below the video, definitely check out the blog post when you're ready to put this on your website. Cause there I had some more options for like explaining what we're doing and how it works. Um, otherwise you can, you know, just copy and paste for the code right beneath the video and you'll be good to go. So, uh, let's get into it. We're updating the custom CSS for the Squarespace website. So I'm going to select design and custom CSS. Now, starting with the first code below, we're going to affect just this individual small button. Right now I hover over it and it lightens up. That's the standard for Squarespace, just makes it a little bit lighter. Uh, but this hover effect is going to make it underlined. So I'm going to paste the whole code right there and select save. Now watch this, this is the super cool part. You ready? What? How neat does that look? I thought it was pretty awesome. Let's say you want to uh, change the color or the type of line. Those are some options you've got going on here. I'm going to adjust this hex code right here and I'm gonna make this a dotted line. Now check it out, right? Little yellow dots popping up when I hover over that button. How freaking cool is this? I thought this code was really neat. You can make these uh, dashed lines, you can make them dotted, you can make them super crazy thick if you want to, or you know, use any particular color that uh, makes you happy. I think I'm gonna grab one of my favorites here. I like this uh, kind of pink salmon color. I'm gonna put that on there. Now check it out. Oh, what am I saying? That's the blue one. Ha, I'm gonna grab the blue color. <laughs> there we go. So it's got the dashes on the bottom when I highlight over it. Now I have these same codes for medium buttons and large buttons. You'll notice these are not affected. It's because I was using the code for just the small button. Okay. So medium and large are beneath the video. You can change the thickness of the line, the type of the line and the color, but really awesome hover effect. And uh, after you've copy and pasted and updated, make sure to select save. All right, grab that code beneath this video or over on my blog at insidethesquare.co and have fun with your Squarespace website. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. Copy and paste your way to a cooler website. Download it now at insidethesquare.co slash CSS.